Tiramisu is one of those perfect make-ahead desserts for a special occasion. It needs time to set up in the fridge, about six hours, ideally overnight. So I love making this the day before for, you know, if I have people coming over, it can sit in the fridge and then it's ready to serve. All I have to do is grate a little bit of chocolate over the top and it's ready to serve to my guests. So when I first moved to Boston, I went to dinner in the North End, which is the Italian section of the city. Now, I don't remember exactly what restaurant I went to. I don't remember even what I had for dinner, but I do remember the dessert that I had and I tried tiramisu for the first time and I fell in love. I assumed, of course, that it had to be a difficult dessert to make, but it's really quite simple. It's this beautiful no-bake dessert that in Italian means pick-me-up because it's made with espresso or coffee. Ladyfinger cookies get soaked into this espresso coffee mixture and then it gets layered with this luscious mascarpone filling. Dust it with some cocoa powder and a little bit of chocolate and it is just heaven. So come on, let's not wait any longer because I seriously love tiramisu. To start, you wanna combine your coffee or espresso and I'm using a little bit of rum. This is going to be the dunking liquid for our lady fingers later, so we'll set that aside for now. I'm adding in rum, but you could really swap it out and use a different type of liquor here. You could use Kahlua, brandy, you can use light or dark rum. You could also omit it if you'd like, if you're serving this, you know, to someone that doesn't want any alcohol in their dessert. But to me, the true flavor of tiramisu wouldn't be complete without it. For an even stronger coffee flavor, you can add a tablespoon of espresso powder into your coffee mixture. But again, you wanna make sure that your, your coffee or espresso isn't hot, otherwise it's gonna make your lady fingers really mushy. Next, we're going to heat together the egg yolks, salt, and sugar over a double boiler. Simply meaning a bowl set over a pan of simmering water. We'll heat this for 10 minutes and then we'll set it aside to cool before going on to the next step. Now some tiramisu recipes may not have you heating the egg yolk mixture, but to make sure that it's completely safe, we are gonna heat them over a double boiler. Then we're going to whip together our mascarpone and the rest of the rum together. Then you're gonna beat in your cooled egg mixture and beat it until it's combined and smooth. Then in a second bowl, you'll want to whip heavy cream and vanilla together. We're basically making a whipped cream here. You'll wanna whip the heavy cream until it forms stiff peaks and then we'll fold the whipped cream into the mascarpone mixture. And then we're ready to assemble. You wanna use hard lady fingers that are, that are crunchy, not a soft lady finger cookie because they are gonna soften as they sit in the fridge. You wanna quickly dip each lady finger into the mixture. You wanna make sure to dip it quickly so they don't get too soggy. So I give them a quick roll and coat them on both sides and then I layer them into my nine by 13 baking pan. You'll spread half of the mascarpone mixture over the lady fingers with a spatula and then smooth the surface. And then dust the mascarpone with half of the cocoa. I'm using a Dutch cocoa here and if you are in the grocery store and you see the Hershey's brand, this is the special dark cocoa as opposed to a uh, natural or unsweetened cocoa. I just think it's a little less bitter flavor and it's just a little bit more chocolatey or tasting, but you can use a natural or unsweetened cocoa powder here. And then simply repeat the process. More lady fingers dunked, more mascarpone, more cocoa powder, and then we'll let it set up in the fridge. We're gonna cover and refrigerate our tiramisu for about six hours. That's why I said it makes for a great make-ahead dessert because those lady fingers need time to soften and everything needs to kind of come together. All those flavors are gonna marry together. It's gonna taste so amazing. For best results, I recommend letting it sit overnight in the fridge if you can wait that long. And then you are ready to enjoy. Now, right before serving, I like to grate on a little bit of chocolate just to complete the tiramisu experience. And that's it. It's really quite an easy dessert. It's absolute heaven, I think. It's one of my favorite desserts, and I hope you enjoy it too. If you try out my tiramisu recipe, let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to hit subscribe so you never miss another baking tutorial. And until next time, happy baking.